مسٹر عابد بشیر السلام علیکم سر وعلیکم السلام یس عابد تھینک یو ویری مچ اگین فیلنگ ویری کول تھینک یو یو ہیو یس سر وٹ کین آئی ڈو فار یو ایکچولی مائی کوشچن از ریلیٹڈ دا آئی کمپلیکیشن بوتھ کیٹریکٹ اینڈ ریٹینوپیتھی آکرس وچ ون آکرس فرسٹ اینڈ واٹس دا بیسک میکنزم بہن دا اباؤٹ کیٹریکٹ اور اباؤٹ ریٹینوپیتھی بوتھ اوکے لیٹ بوتھ آکرس Yeah. I, I will tell you. First of all, we have to learn one thing that both are entirely different patho- pathogenesis, right? Right? For example, if, it, if I talk about the cataract, it is so simple, I will draw on the board to make it clear. Let's suppose this is your lens. This is your lens. When you develop hyperglycemic peak, at this peak level, lot of glucose enter in, right? And this glucose which normal metabolism of lens proteins cannot handle because lens metabolism is very less, right? Very slow. When so much glucose come, it convert glucose into sorbitol. Sorbitol. Now, later on, blood glucose level goes to normal level. When blood, blood glucose goes to normal level, right? Ideally, this sorbitol should come out but glucose can cross the membranes lens cover sorbitol cannot come out of the lens sorbitol is trapped over there now what sorbitol will do now environment inside the lens is hyperosmotic but because blood glucose level blood glucose level and aqueous humor glucose level has become normal so as compared to that it is normosmotic and lens is hyosmo, hyperosmotic due to the sorbitol so it will pull the water and it will when it will pull the water then water will go uh, in between the layers of collagen now collagen in the lens is arranged in a very artistic way that they don't refract the light and light passes straight and there is what transparency transparent lens but when repeatedly this chemical damage occur and lens collagen and lens fibrous tissue that special architecture is disturbed right you can say that architecture is disre- disrespected that refused to be transparent this is one thing second thing that when glucose will go in that will also produce some advanced what advanced glyc- glycation protein proteins right yes, sir. and end products yes, and those uh, age products age products those age products will also uh, make these proteins abnormal so there is acute blurring of the vn which is due to sorbitol trapping and eventually it process become chronic when repeated insult to the collagen level lead to uh, disturbed architecture and these age products and age products cannot uh, age product wherever they are even uh, they are in the uh, any anywhere in the body wherever they are they will disturb the normal architecture of the fibers right and the, we will lose the transparency and this loss of transparency is okay, called opacity. opacity so this problem is gone right now we come to the second problem second problem was ret- uh, diabetic retinopathy right what happens okay i will explain it briefly now but as we continue one day we will reach to a full lecture only on retinopathy diagnosis of retinopathy preventation of retinopathy and management of retinopathy but right now i will very briefly tell you when retinal vessels this is microangiopathic disease so naturally their basement membrane also become thick their basement membrane become thick, thick. right and cracky cracks even though they are thick basement membrane for example this is normal thin basement membrane with endothelial cells right 
now you imagine that it becomes thick it becomes thick but it develops multiple cracks why because it is thickened by age product abnormal proteins so they don't hook together properly right they don't make up so due to this reason now listen in the early stage of retinopathy lot of plasma proteins and lipids will come here right now when this thing will come over here that is early retinopathy right now you understand very early reason thickened and super leaky hyperpermeable capillaries and second reason leakage of proteins and lipids and other substances we start accumulating here and don't go back and now you imagine here are the neurons neuronal tissue now you see that when this this start coming over here right this this start accumulating neuronal tissue and the capillary they develop the distance they develop the pathological distance, distance. when this pathological distance occur many areas in retina become ischemic many area in retina become ischemic. ischemic when they become ischemic they produce vascular growth factors what they produce vascular growth factors factor. those growth factors will lead to development of new vessels right we call it proliferative stage or neovascularization but these new vessels. new vessels are just endothelial tubes with very little sport little, they are just endothelial tubes with very little sport of connective tissue around them right we call this is very dangerous we call it proliferative stage because they can undergo hemorrhages and they can produce a lot of complications but again this is brief description full description i will wait for you when i give a lecture on diabetic retinopathy thank you abed thank you sir welcome welcome